Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am Vanessa and I live in a van and her name is Treasure. I am here today to talk to you guys about how to sleep in the city, in city parking lots without being stealth. Now, some of you may consider my van to be stealth and some of you may not consider my van to be stealth. Some of you guys may think that my van, oh my goodness, it is so windy out here today, you guys. I have on my microphone, so I hope you guys can hear me just fine. Let me know in the comments bar below if you heard me just fine or if it was too windy. But some of you guys may consider my van to be stealth and some of you guys may not consider my van to be stealth because it is a white van and it does have a ladder on the side that kind of makes it look like a work truck but i think a dead giveaway to my van not being stealth is that it does have three solar panels up at the top of the van and it also has a water tank and a storage container and now it has bikes on the back of the van so i think that is a dead giveaway <laughs> that this is not a work truck however i do do city van life for the majority of my van life experience i do choose to do city van life i do sleep in parking lots i do try to minimize and maximize the amount of money that I'm spending by trying not to spend uh, money as much as possible. Uh, I do go to state parks. I do bring cap sites on occasion, but the majority of the time I sleep in parking lots and I'm just trying to survive and keep my head above water and also trying to save some money for purchasing another vehicle in the future. So it's very important to me to be able to sleep in parking lots and to be able to do so freely without being stealth. So let me give you guys some tips on how to do that. Whether you're stealth or not stealth, I try not to concentrate on being stealth because nine times out of ten if you're sleeping in a van or you're sleeping in a vehicle sometimes the vehicle is a dead giveaway that someone lives in there so regardless of if you're trying to be stealth or not people know like van life is a real thing van life is a big thing and people know that you are living in your van so the thing is not to necessarily be stealth but to be inconspicuous and to just be responsible like to be a good tenant to be a good neighbor you're sleeping in someone's parking lot so you don't want to have your doors all open you don't want to hang out that's one reason why the previous video that i made about doing city van life in uh doing city van life and going to state parks uh is very helpful to remaining a person that will be able to park in parking lots without being a nuisance to the parking lot they don't want you sitting around loitering they don't want you sitting around panhandling they don't want you sitting around with your doors open so you're just utilizing the parking lot to sleep in at night and to get up and leave as early as possible in the morning and go spend the rest of your day somewhere else and again that's why the state parks are very handy so if you haven't seen that video already make sure you watch that video about uh, spending the day in city van life at state parks or even your local park for that matter so I don't concentrate on trying to be stealth but there are some things that I do that some other people may not recommend doing but there are some things that I do uh, to be able to sleep in parking lots in city van life number one I don't like to frequent parking lots that are going to be very busy. There are some businesses that stay open for hours a day. Even if I decide to sleep in one of those parking lots, I will probably choose to park away from everybody else. So I don't try to 
park next to a lot of other vehicles uh, because people are going to be getting in and out of their cars all night long. I don't tend to park in truck stops because most 18 wheelers leave their uh, 18 wheelers running all night long and the motor and the engine actually bothers me because I'm a very light sleeper and I like everything to be quiet. So I don't like to frequent truck stops. If I'm traveling on the road and that is my only option, I will frequent a truck stop, but I will again park away from all the other vehicles. And so when I do park in a parking lot in the city, I usually park away from any other vehicles. I usually choose a parking lot that is actually empty and my vehicle is the only vehicle in that parking lot. That way I know in the middle of the night, if I hear a door close, a door slam, or some music or voices. I know that that is something unusual because it should be only me in that parking lot. And then I get up and I look out of my windows. Uh, just last night, I was parked in a parking lot and I was the only person parked in that parking lot where I was. And uh, I heard a car slam, I heard voices. I got up, they were parked very close to my vehicle. I got up, I flashed my flashlight out of the window and they skidded off. Another 10 minutes later, a uh, truck came and parked right next to me in a parking lot where there is no other vehicles and they could have parked anywhere in the parking lot. They chose to come and park next to me. To me, that is a red flag. They parked next to me. I looked out of my window. I seen two men in the vehicle rambling around looking for something. I flashed my flashlight at them. And as soon as I did that, they moved. So, uh, I like to park in a parking lot where I'm by myself. So that way, number one, people will probably assume that if you're by yourself, you're not scared and you don't, and you, and you probably have some type of protection. Number two, when you wake up immediately, as soon as you hear them, they know that you're alert. You're letting them know that you're in your vehicle and you're letting them know that you're up and you're prepared for whatever their next move is. So uh, that is what I like to do in reference to sleeping in parking lots. I like to also when I'm in a new city and a new state, I like to stake out like what parking lot I'm going to sleep in and I just try it. I like to have, if I'm going to be in a city and state for a while, I like to try to find multiple places to park. That way I can move around to different areas and I don't have to stay at the same place like day in and day out. And again, key is only using the parking lots to sleep in, not using the parking lots to hang out in during the day. Get up as early as possible. Leave that parking lot. Even if you're going to stay in that parking lot every single day while you're staying in that city, make sure you're leaving that parking lot every city every single day and make sure you're leaving that parking lot as early as possible. Make sure you're not leaving any trash in that parking lot and you're taking everything with you and keeping everything contained in your van. Most parking lots have dumpsters. You can use your dumpsters to throw away your bags of food and stuff like that, but don't leave it on the ground. I am a big advocate of cleaning up your spaces and leaving them the way that you found them and leaving no impact on the place and that way you won't have any problems if you're not rowdy if you're not making uh noises and if you're not causing a ruckus and uh, another thing that's key to being able to stay in parking lots without being stealth is having window covers on it so even though you're in the inside and you have your lights on no one can see in the inside of your vehicle also having a divider like the one i have in the front of my van that's separate from my cab so when people look inside of your van they don't see anything and they don't see anyone in it 
when you have the visors in your windows and you're in a parking lot, that is a dead giveaway that someone is sleeping in that vehicle at night because there is no sun out and you have visors. So if you can have some kind of separation from the cab and the back of the van to where nobody can see in there, that is going to be key. And again, just stay to yourself, mind your own business. Don't be rowdy, don't be going in and out of the van. Don't be cleaning out your van in the parking lot. Do that type of stuff during the daytime in the parks that you're gonna be in, the state parks that you're gonna be in, or the public parks you're gonna be in. Only use the parking lot to sleep in. If you do get a knock on your door, if the police or security guard come to your door and knock and ask you to move, don't argue with them just politely get your stuff together start your car up and move to your backup location so again you guys i hope this video was helpful let me know in the description box below if you have any additional questions about sleeping in parking lots whether you're stealth or not stealth and how to be safe in those parking lots and how to like just do it worry free so i appreciate you guys for watching today and again don't forget to like comment share and subscribe look below the video and check out the subscribe button make sure it does say subscribed with an ed if it doesn't say subscribed with an ed what are you waiting on girl you are not subscribed to the channel and if you want to support the channel in any shape form or fashion my information is always down in the description box below my cash app my paypal my amazon wish list and my mailing address just press the down arrow twice or the more button and all my information will appear i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye now